Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Um, as you will be seeing um, this video, I hope your week is starting out well. Um, but let's get right into it. I was thinking this week, you know, this weekend, this just popped into my head. I don't know why I hadn't really thought about this, but um, right now is the perfect time to do this this high raw vegan thing. Whether you're trying to be fully raw, whether you're just trying to be more raw, you know, than you have been in the past, um, or even if you're just try just new to this uh, plant based lifestyle. Um, so this can be, this can be like I say, this can be a good time and this can be a good talk right here for people that are brand new or people that have maybe been struggling in the past and like this is kind of a regeneration time. You know we always seem to want to make uh, New Year's Day that day of resolution, of starting over. Um, but if you really think, and I did video about it too and we talked about it, um, and you know how many people have stuck to what they had planned for 2015 but realistically for this lifestyle January 1st is not necessarily the greatest time for a new beginning although it's all about a mindset we can do this lifestyle anytime we want to um, it just depends on how how bad you want to do it how much effort you're willing to put into it and if you're really serious about it um, so What's this today? Today is April 25th or 26th, somewhere in there. So let's pretend, let's even fast forward a few days. We're almost in May. All right, we've got, we've got May, June, July, August, September, and I'm going to throw in October because even if you're in Canada or even if you're in the northern part of the United States, you've probably, yeah, so I'm sure you get some cool weather in, in October, maybe even September, but you're not really into the full-on, you know, cold yet. You might be into transitional seasons, but you know it's not it's not locked in. Winter's not locked in, and you can't be that sensitive to the winter issues by then. So let's say you've got six months, five or six solid months, to get on board with this lifestyle, to kind of get um, get your routine settled in this lifestyle, get used to eating this way, learn tricks, learn recipes, um, and then by the time fall, cold weather rolls around, you're going to be a little bit more solid and not have to fall into the same old, same old excuses. Uh, Danny Raw, I, I just had something jotted down here right now, I'm just thinking, so right now is the perfect time. What's your excuse? She used a phrase one day in one of her videos, a pocket full of excuses, like there's always an excuse people can just reach in and tell you why they can't do the lifestyle or you know whatever lifestyle they're trying to do. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter, you know, if it's it, the thought process. It's about the thought process. It's not about okay, is it harder to be fully raw or than it is to be raw to four? If you want to be raw to four, you're going to be raw to four. If you want to be fully raw, you're going to be fully raw. It's just a matter of setting yourself a plan um, and systematically working towards getting there, um, and not continue to pull what, what excuse after excuse after excuse out of your pocket. Okay, what's the excuse? During the cold weather, the excuse is, well, I just need something. I need, my body craves. I need something warm in my body. Okay, that's one of the excuses during cold weather. Another excuse during cold weather is there's just not as much um, produce available in general during that time. Um, especially not for local produce in a lot of areas. I mean, the produce that you're getting, um, you're getting some, but you know you might be getting produce that's coming across the country or coming from other countries. So maybe that's not an ideal time of year for buying. Okay, so granted, now you don't, you know, neither one of those have to be an excuse during cold weather, but what you need to do now, like I say, what you can do now is over these next six months is work towards solidifying your lifestyle to where you're ready for it when it comes around the next time and you know how to deal with uh, cold weather and being high raw or high carb vegan, whatever you're, whatever you're trying to do. But um, right now, now we're getting into a time of year where it's kind of like, you know, either we have a saying and, you know, it's not, it's kind of a crude saying like blank or get off the pot. You know, um, at what point is it just, you know, at what point is there just, you know, you're, it's going to be in the future. This isn't the right time. We'll do it then. This isn't the right time. We'll do it then. Now, you know, this is the perfect time of year. This is the time of the year that um, you're going to start seeing a lot more fresh pro produce. If you're not seeing it already, um, this is the time of the year. It's going to start warming up. You're going to be outside. 
especially as the hot weather comes. Now, okay, a lot of you are still in spring where you are. Although I know across the south that it's pretty hot this year. I mean, it was summer-like temperatures when I was in Alabama, and I've been back, you know, about 10 days now. I mean, it was in the 80s pretty much every day I was there, so it's hot. Now, one thing about hot weather is, you know, whether you philosophically, whether you're against cooked food or whatever your level of eating cooked food is, when it's hot, I'm just not in the mood. That's probably why, you know, I eat, my, eat some cooked food when I go back to the States. And even when I'm back in the States, it's kind of I'm in a different climate because I'm in air conditioning all the time. Um, but down here, I don't like to run my air conditioner any more than I have to, you know, to save on money. And when it's hot, your body just, I just don't have any inclination towards wanting to eat hot food. You know, I'm really enjoying now just some light, um, light summer dishes, some new dishes I've found. I've been doing the cucumber noodles instead of the, zo the uh, zoodles a lot this week, and they're just, they're just lighter, more full of water. I just really enjoy that. But, but summertime is the time. Um, you know, uh, there's, there's a lot of with the fresh fruit. Um, the fact that, like I say, your body doesn't need necessarily that heat. Um, and you could, whether you're starting from zero, okay, let's say whether you're new to the lifestyle or you've been struggling, let's pretend you're starting from zero right now. Let's, let's say you're going to take the next six months to really be serious about this and, um, and be prepared for when the cold weather comes. Well, then what you would want to do is over this next six months is, um, you know, eat as much of this fresh fruit and fresh produce that's going to be available. Just almost like give yourself, bombard your body. Try to get as much good stuff into you as possible right now. As much into you as possible. Try to eat as raw as possible right now because that raw diet is going to be more cleansing. So seeing how it is summer, try to get as much of that fresh uh, fruits and vegetables as possible into you. Um, when you are eating cooked food, make good choices with your cooked food. Um, you know, like I said, I've just been in the state, those sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are much, for me, I think they're much more nutritious than just regular white potatoes. Uh, you're going to have squash out there if you're anywhere in the south. There probably have a lot of different berries. You're going to have peas out there. Um, corn. Oh, so good summer corn. So, even, you know, even if you're eating cooked food, there's, there's a lot of good stuff out there that you can eat it fresh. You don't need to add a bunch, you don't need to add fat to it. I could make, you know, I could totally rock on the plate of sweet potatoes, um, corn, and uh, some peas or some steamed vegetables or whatever. But the summer is also the time where it's easier to be raw. You got good tomatoes in the summer. Um, you can make dishes with some of these things like the corn. I enjoy the corn raw. I enjoy the corn uh, mixed up, blended into soups, um, or just eating it on top of salads. Ooh, gonna be a lot of good greens. Uh, summertime's a great um, salad time. So, I mean, it's almost, you know, I kind of wonder about the route of four people sometimes. Do you do rock, do you eat cooked food every single day? Because, you know, I, I mean, unless you eat salads during the day, there's just nights where I've got to have salads, even if, you know, it's not a matter of, um, uh, even if I was on all of four, I think I'd be like, okay, tonight I just got to have a salad. In the summer, this is a wonderful time of year. Um, for making big salads. Now what do you need to do also over the, one thing you need to do over this next six months, just learn to eat a lot of fresh food. Bombard your body with a lot of this fresh uh, fruit and produce that's coming in. Number two, make, your, make a plan. If you're new to this or if you've been failing before, don't necessarily try to jump in. Right now you're in the spring, in the summer, I want to do a big juice fast or this and this and this. Set your plan. If, you, if you're new to this, transition. Transition systematically at your own pace. If you're not new to this, maybe you need to step back a stage. There's nothing shameful in having to step back, no matter how long you've been in this. Maybe you need to start and start over again. Maybe you need to re maybe you never transitioned properly properly. Maybe you need to retransition. Keep a food journal this summer. Write down what you're eating. Um, you know, and see what kind of results you're getting and evaluate this every month. Go through your food journal and evaluate that every month based on how you feel, how you look, how you look to yourself, and where you want to be. And you know, be critical with yourself, but not overly critical, but use that food journal, the, okay, this is how I was eating, this is the results I got, I want these type results, and do some tweaking. Um, 
and learn recipes. Learn, you've got to have salad dressing recipes. You've got to have some sauce recipes out there. I would say you've got to have some soup recipes. The smoothies are um, pretty much simpler. I mean, you know, even the green, just the green smoothies, just, you know, fruit. Fruit and greens. Um, put some, uh, get some omega-3s in there. Put some chia seeds in there. Put some hemp seeds in there. But, but teach your, take the next six months to learn some tricks too. Because the tricks and being able to feed yourself with tasty food is what's going to keep you on the path. If you're not happy with what you're eating, especially in the beginning, I know I've talked about, I've done videos before how, okay, and it's not necessarily the primary thing for me. Not like, I enjoy tasty food, I enjoy good food, but I'm not one of those people that every single thing I eat has to be just, you know, a sensation or or I can't eat it. Like some meals are just nourishment. But especially in the beginning, you want food that, you, that satisfies you. You want food that's tasty. You want food that you like. So learn how to make some, make some stuff. Learn, learn recipes. You don't have to have a lot. You don't have to get fancy. I mean, I'm about as uh, simple as it gets. But I've even been teaching myself some more um, new, new, new dishes, new recipes lately. And I'm enjoying, you know, the variety. It kind of rejuvenates me sometimes. In fact, I might do another video today that's a recipe video. Recipe that I got from somebody else. I'll totally have to give them props on this one. But, yeah, you know, and just, and just learn over these next six months. The next thing that I might would suggest is, as you, you know, maybe not right now at the beginning of the period, but as we're getting over into um, August, September, start doing some thinking ahead. Think of ways, think of things you can prepare ahead of time. Maybe you want to freeze some things uh, before the cold weather gets here. Or maybe you want to start thinking about learning some recipes that are more suitable for uh, cold weather. Um, okay, if you're trying to be fully raw, uh, you, you probably come up with a few more tricks, you know, like maybe warming, warming uh, zoodles, warming uh, cucumber noodles to just a certain, you know, not not above a certain temperature, but just warming them a little bit, or getting thing, or certain little tricks in your Vitamix of being able to get things warm. If you're not completely trying to be completely raw, if you're raw to four, if you eat cooked food quite frequently, look into some good hearty meals that you can prepare for winter but that are clean. I mean, there's a lot of stews and soups out there. I can think of one now, and I'm probably going to do one um, in the not-too-distant future that is a pretty heavy stew, but it's not, it doesn't have fat in it, or it doesn't have very much fat, if, if very little. There'll probably be some coconut milk, but you can make some very hearty stews with uh, tubers, with yuca, with uh, carrots, with uh, chayote, um, any of the, 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 the the tuber type vegetables, uh, sweet potato, um, purple sweet potato. But there's a lot of good hearty stuff, so start learning, you know, maybe as you're coming closer to the cooler periods, start learning some things that are going to keep you clean during the winter. That's what it's about. It's about staying clean. It's not about this raw, you know, raw is law. Um, it's about clean before anything else. Clean eating for our health. But anyhow, now's the time. Now's the time, and at some point, like I say, I'm always saying I don't want to be discouraging, and I, you know, like all these kind of keep picking yourself up off the floor. But as I keep saying, stress isn't a good thing. If you want to be doing this type of lifestyle, you want to be reaping the benefits out of this lifestyle, and you don't want to be stressing yourself to do it. So, you know, anybody can do it. Anybody can do raw before. Anybody can do fully raw vegan if so, if they so choose. Only you can decide that for yourself. But at some point, if you're not going to do it, you have to let go of a certain thing you're aspiring to and maybe settle on something that is a little bit more realistic for you. Because like I say, the continuous trying, while it sounds valiant, I don't think is that great of a thing because if you're continuously trying, that means you failed a lot of times. And you know, there's not, any, there's not shame in failure, but it's uh, psychologically depressing to some people and just that whole failing over and over puts stress on people. And the stress in the end, to me, like I'll say a million times, is worse than uh, bad eating, in my opinion. So, you know, lock yourself in on whatever one of these high carb vegan lifestyles you want to now while the weather is conducive to it. And, um, and yeah. I don't know. By the time uh, cold weather rolls around again, you know you should have set. You should. You've got plenty of time right now to have a, a solid base. By the time that happens, 
and you should be solid in the lifestyle and you should be able to um, stay clean without this whole lot of freaking out just because it got to be cold weather. Anyhow, I hope you guys liked this video and found it a little bit useful. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Um, hope you'll subscribe to the channel, uh, share it with your friends, and have a wonderful week. Make it count. Peace.